Hey, what's up, man? This is Coach Tex. <coughs> Excuse me. DFW Penguin Basketball, PenguinHoops.com. And today, I want to talk about real quick. I know I always say real quick and I end up talking for like 20 minutes. But real quick, I want to talk about how to manage being a student athlete during the season. Guys, this can be extremely hard for some people that aren't used to um, going to practices, going to workouts, going to going to study hall, all of this goofy stuff. Going to have doing school meetings and stuff with, with teachers and they make you do pow and go meet with these little kids at the elementary school and all this goofy stuff, right? It can take a toll on you if you're not prepared for it, if you don't have a parent that's not used to it as well, okay? So, number one, okay, you have to know as a student athlete that a lot of your social life is going to go <clears throat> dating, hanging out with your buddies, playing video games, all of that good stuff, going to parties. I mean, you're going to miss a lot of that stuff. Just basically, not even just because you're too tired or you got homework, because you have games, you have practice, you have other things, other, other obligations to the team, especially once you get to the varsity level or play collegiate basketball. But you have to know that a lot of your social life is going to be gone, and you have to be prepared for it and want that because that's the whole point of you being on the team because – being on the team is your goal, and that's going to take up your time. So you can't make the team, get on the team, and then complain that your social life is gone. What would you rather be? Get cut and or not make this cut and not have a social life or have a whole bunch of social life and just go in and attend the games when you know that you should be on the team? So you have to know that. Number two, make sure you make a schedule of things that you're going to be doing each week. Okay, I wake up in the morning, practices, oh, school starts at 8.30, okay, I got to get up at 7, get myself ready, I get to school at 8, practice starts, okay, at 3.30 on athletic period, I don't know guys anymore, 3.30 athletic period, I get done with practice at 5, alright, now, here it comes when it gets hard, okay, I get home, 5.30, eat, you got, I mean, you're writing this stuff down, putting it in your phone or whatever. Homework for two hours. Okay. Play the game, video games for an hour. Homework for another hour. Study for a test or whatever it may be. And then you get yourself ready for school. All these other things um, or whatever you might have going on. But make sure you have a set schedule. Now, a lot of times when you make a schedule, I'm real big on structure. Okay, when you make a schedule, and you especially if you put it in your face, like with me, I put I have a board at home, and I put a list of things that I need to do for the day. Right? Sometimes I don't do it. Sometimes I do. But me seeing that board, or me seeing that in my phone, like sometimes I might put it as my screensaver if it's really important. But me seeing that all the time is a constant reminder that I need to get that done. Right? And you may not knock out everything. You may not go. Uh, uh, if you put, hey, I need to do start my homework at 6. Okay, you may not start right at 6, but you at some point you're putting it in your head, I got to do my homework, I got to knock this out by this time, my mom is making us go to dinner with our uncle at this time, we come back, I got to do this, and play some Fortnite, and then I go to sleep, right? So when you have that in your mind, it's a lot easier, okay, just by having that structure there. Everything is not going to be perfect, You're not going to. it's not going to fall completely in line but you giving that constant reminder to yourself will help you out. Number three, okay, well, well, back, well, I'm sorry, back to the number two, okay. You're doing all of that, creating that schedule. The number one thing is to maximize your time. If you don't have the schedule, a lot of times you will forget stuff and you will waste a lot of time, which is, Instead of saying, hey, I'm going to do this from 6 to 8, you end up doing it from 6 to 9 and not and you miss out on something that you could have knocked out or gotten done or had some extra free time. All right, number three, which is very, 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 very important. Okay? Guys, when I was in high school, I had no idea of how to manage time. I was a really social kid, so I would knock out homework whenever I felt like it. 
Okay, and I would still end up getting A's in certain subjects, B's, and I would breeze by and do pretty good. But I was, I'm was i always, as soon as practice was over, I'm either in the gym a little bit longer than other people or I'm going to hang out with my buddies. I just, that was always me. I had to go and do that. I just felt out of place doing that. And a lot of times it got me in trouble with things because I would try to do stuff on the back end or wake up early in the morning the next day at 5 in the morning after I've been playing video games with my buddies till 11 at night, then I get home close to midnight, and I'm trying to scramble and, and complete this uh, this uh, study guide or whatever for a quiz the next day. Guys, you have to get sleep. Sleep, sleep. Whether it be naps, going to sleep early, you have to get sleep. Because if you don't, your body will start to break down. Okay. You'll get sick during the season. Guys, a lot of people don't understand that you not getting enough sleep each day, especially if you're a really active person, it breaks your body down and you'll get sick a lot easier. You might have a little tweak in your arm. You don't get sleep. It'll start nagging you. Okay. If you're an athlete, another thing too, sleep is important. Stretching when you get home. If you have the means to do it, Eating healthier during the season. I know some of you guys in middle school, high school, and it's just like, oh, okay, well, I'm burning all these calories, coach. I'm just going to go to Cane's and get some chicken strips and stuff. Whatever. But if you can, instead of getting Cane's, get some some grilled chicken nuggets or something from Chick-fil-A. I don't know. Okay? It makes a huge difference in your performance and your energy at school. Okay? Along with sleeping, eating as well. You got to eat. Some of you guys don't eat as much as you should during the season all right so to recap number one you got to know that your social life is going to be gone and it's going to drop take a big toll it's going to take a big hit okay you got to be ready and prepare for that and want that number two make sure you make a schedule for yourself so you have some structure in your life okay number three get as much rest as possible and make sure you eat as much as possible and if you can eat healthy that's even better all right, that's pretty much it, man. Visit the website, penguinhoops.com. Okay, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'm pretty sure I'll answer. I only got like three subscribers. So I'll see you guys later, all right?